IPA, Knight Rider, Stout. Stay tuned and we'll be right back at the Barrel House Brewing Company. Hello everyone, Maribel from Slow TV and we are here in Paso Robos at Barrel House Brewing Company and I have Jason Carvalho, the owner with me. Yay! Hello. Hey Jason. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Thank you for having us here. Thanks for coming. Cool. So let me ask you, what what started Barrel House Brewing Company? Uh, Barrel House Brewing Company pretty much it started in my garage and it's just a, it started as a a group of friends that were super passionate about beer and um, we kind of planned and planned maybe like four or five years in the making and um, one thing led to another we started you know things started falling into place and before we knew it we were flying to Canada and buying a, a used brewing system and then finding a location for it and the rest is history so just the garage just the garage yeah we went from brewing five gallons at a time to brewing 600 plus gallons at a time pretty much overnight Nice. That's very interesting. That's hard work. It's 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 fun, but it is a lot of work. Cool. It is a lot of work. Now, what can you say? Because there's a lot of brewing companies out there. What makes Barrel House Brewing Company so unique and different? I would say what sets us aside are our people, um, and ultimately we have a really creative team of winemakers, brewers, very diverse um, uh, crew. And that lends itself to super unique um, and interesting beers as well. So I think that if you have the culture and the team, um, then you can create anything. And so having unique um, craftsmen um, creating our beers um, then trickles down to the finished product. And so it ends up being unique. And our, our portfolio is very balanced. But you're not going to find our beers don't necessarily fit in, in the boxes uh, that you'd find like a blonde or a pale ale. Our pale ale we brew with. Uh, rye which makes it kind of spicy um, our blondes we dry hop our blonde which most people don't so our beers are designed to be unique and interesting and the beers that we would want to drink not necessarily beers that um, most people are used to having when they think blonde blonde should be like kind of bland um, not super aromatic we think it should be aromatic so we build and craft what we want and the consumers are really excited about it so I think that sets us aside Cool, that's good to hear. Now, do you have anything that you know that you think that you could offer out there for your customers? As far as your membership, do you have a membership? Do you have? Yes, we have a, a beer society that we offer for people. Um, so basically, if you're part of the beer society, um, um, which it's sold out right now, we'll re-release it. I believe it's in July. Um, but if you're a member of the, the society, um, basically you get. Um, first access to special release beers nice. um, you get um, a special glass when you come in here so it's bigger than everybody else's glass so people come in they see the glass like why is your glass bigger than mine well it's because I'm a society member I'm kind of a big deal um, and special shirts and um, special dinners and things like that that um, uh, people can be a part of Barrel House because you would be surprised how many people want to help out so we'll have like We'll invite our society members to a labeling party or whatever, and they'll come in and label or filling barrels. So they can be a part of the process. Um, it's kind of a win-win. Um, most of the time they'll work for beer, and so uh, nice. it's pretty awesome. And we have, the support is amazing. So we try to create a family environment, something that people can relate to. Um, and so that's just a part of how we bring people in to be part of the team. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this. How often do you do a taste test? <laughs> Every chance I get. <laughs> Love it. Are you hiring for that? Because I'm in. Are you professional? Yes. Yes, we're hiring. Good, perfect. <laughs> so now, let me ask you. Do you guys do like a beer to go, like put it in big jars and I can take it out, take we it do, home? Yeah, we do growlers. Um, so you can come in and you can get special releases and things that you can't necessarily get at most stores. We also offer 22 ounce, uh, we call them bombers, they're 22 ounce uh, bottles to go as well. So um, yeah, every time you come in here, there's going to be a unique beer on tap. We try to keep it, you know, a variety going. Our core portfolio of beers, there's always going to be five or six beers you know we're always going to have. Um, but then the other four or five beers, barrel aged projects, sours, we're going to keep that new and interesting because, you know, people want something um, unique and every time they come in here they're gonna have a different experience there's gonna be different music there's gonna be different beers there's gonna be yeah, that's you know really cool. it, it makes it exciting so 
Now with your live music, do they play every night? No, um, in the summer usually we shoot for about four nights a week and in the uh, winter time things slow down a little bit. The majority of our music venues outside in our beautiful beer garden so in the winter time we have to scale back because the tap room gets so packed we don't really have room for big yeah. bands. Um, so we'll do maybe two nights a week during the uh, winter but spring summer we start ramping up so. Good, that's good to hear. Yeah. Now what's your most selling beer here? Our best selling beers in the tap room are our Brass Monkey which is a tangerine honey blonde and our IPA. And that's that one. That is that one. So good. yeah those are those are hot commodities. We move a lot of that. Perfect. Well, I'm going to order me a big jar of it. That's a good one. So, Jason, now that I know where this is, how can I contact you? Okay, so you can either come here to the brewery. We're in Paso Robles on Limestone Way. Um, or you can find us on the, on the web at www.barrelhousebrewing.com. Um, if you'd like, Instagram at BHBC or Facebook is Barrel House Brewing. And Twitter is Barrel House Beer. And also, do you have any special events that we should be watching out for? We actually do. We have a sour release party um, this Saturday. Um, we have uh, our second year anniversary party, February 21st, which is a lot of fun. We bring in three different bands. We have food. Um, we have food most weekend nights as well. Um, and we've got the tap room in San Luis opening in April. So it's going to be an exciting year. I'm excited. I'm in. All right. Okay, there you go. Heard it from Jason himself. Go check out the Barrel House Brewing Company. Slow TV is outro. Please check us out at www.slowtv.net. And this show is produced by Miranda Marketing Labs at www.mirandamarketinglabs.com. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>